Imagine going back in time and delving deeply into philosophy's past. Emotionlessness, an old way of thinking that rises above the hundreds of years, arises as a splendid light, enlightening the way to a more profound comprehension of life and beating difficulties. It's a fascinating look inside the minds of the Greeks and Romans who laid the groundwork for this philosophy of wisdom, bravery, and justice. Wisdom, the first pillar, acts as a lighthouse to help us navigate life. It helps us to recognize between what we have some control over and what is past our range, permitting us to zero in our endeavors and energies on the things that really matter. Astuteness is the light that scatters the haziness of obliviousness, directing us chasing after tranquility and ideals. The fire that burns in our hearts and enables us to face challenges with unwavering determination is courage, the second pillar. It inspires us to embrace challenges and use them as opportunities. With boldness, we can stand up to the obscure with heads held high, prepared to conquer obstructions and develop as individuals. Equity. The third support point is the equilibrium that orchestrates our activities and associations with our general surroundings. It advises us that genuine ideals lies in reasonableness and sympathy in the mission for a reality where congruity wins. Building strong relationships based on honesty and respect for one another is guided by justice. We delve deeper into the core of Stoicism as we investigate each of these pillars. Every support point is a foundation in the development of a satisfying and significant life, a way of thinking that welcomes us to embrace peacefulness and temperance as guides on our excursion. Allow us now to uncover the privileged insights of every support point, uncovering the insight, mental fortitude, and equity that have formed this ageless way of thinking. I encourage you to subscribe to our channel as we continue our exploration of Stoicism so that you can learn more about the secrets of this ancient philosophy and how it can be used in today's world. Moreover, remember to leave a like on the off chance that you are partaking in this improving substance. But before we move on, I would like you to take a moment and say, I am at the beginning of my journey, so that we can be sure that our video will change your life. Come along with us on our quest for the wisdom, bravery, and justice that gave Stoicism its name and can show you the way to a life that is more satisfying and meaningful. We are looking forward to having you join us on this journey of personal development and discovery. In Stoicism, wisdom is built on a foundation of profound self-knowledge. It includes noticing our close-to-home responses, motivations, and considerations. Stoics accepted that by profoundly understanding our shortcomings and propensities, we could start to shrewdly defeat them and act more. Through private diaries and contemplation, Stoics looked to completely know themselves more. Stoics made it a lifelong commitment to learn new things. They held the belief that continual education was necessary for wisdom development. To gain insight into human nature and the world, Stoics studied philosophy, science, history, and other fields. They additionally esteemed discourse and the trading of thoughts with different scholars and masterminds to extend their insight. The Stoics valued logic and knowledge of nature's laws. They saw the universe as administered by normal and level-headed regulations and tried to comprehend these regulations to live as one with nature. Rationale assumed a critical part in examination and direction, assisting them with distinguishing misleading contentions and settle on choices in light of proof and sound thinking. The differentiation between the controllable and the wild was key in emotionless insight. This differentiation, frequently summed up in Epictetus's apathetic polarity of control, instructed that a few things are inside our control and others are not. Focusing on what we can control, like our choices, attitudes, and values, and accepting with serenity what we can't control, like what happens outside and what other people do, is wisdom. Stoicism saw virtue as the ultimate goal. Stoics instructed that uprightness isn't simply a bunch of conceptual thoughts. However, the down-to-earth utilization of moral standards in our day-to-day -day activity. The four essential apathetic excellencies, boldness or strength, equity, restraint or poise, and down-to-earth shrewdness or judiciousness were viewed as the way to a moral and significant life. Acknowledgement and serenity were vital to apathetic insight. 
the Stoics held the belief that the unavoidable realities of life such as mortality, change, and adversity are fundamental components of the human condition. By tolerating these real factors, Stoics look to accomplish. Mental quietness, serenity, and inward harmony, keeping away from pointless experiencing made by obstruction, inescapable condition. Wisdom practice necessitated self-discipline and self-control. Stoics accepted that self-restraint is important to oppose hurtful driving forces, wants, and feelings. It assists us with remaining fixed on our standards and act in arrangement with our qualities even in testing circumstances. A practical philosophy of life is at the heart of Stoic wisdom in everyday life, not just a philosophical theory. Stoics had confidence in the consistent use of astute standards in all everyday issues, from individual connections to monetary choices. They considered life to be a constant chance for filling in shrewdness and uprightness. In summary, wisdom in Stoicism is a path to living an ethical, fulfilling and successful life based on reason, virtue and constant learning. Fortitude and aloofness includes the capacity to go up against and conquer fears using reason. This incorporates addressing and testing unreasonable convictions that could fuel dread. Furthermore, apathetic boldness envelops the acknowledgement of life's difficulties with peacefulness. Stoics contended that since numerous occasions are outside of our reach, genuine boldness lies in tolerating these occasions smoothly and dignifiedly as opposed to opposing or grumbling. This doesn't mean inactive renunciation, but instead the capacity to answer difficulties with strength and assurance. Additionally, mental fortitude chasing after righteousness is fundamental in apathy. The courage to acknowledge one's own shortcomings and the determination to grow as a person are essential to the constant pursuit of virtue. Moral mental fortitude is important to stand up to our blemishes and effectively pursue a more prudent person. Protection from allurements and driving forces is one more part of boldness and apathy. It includes the capacity to oppose unsafe enticements, pointless ways of behaving, or activities that might think twice about in moral standard. Fortitude in this setting requires mindfulness and self-control to go with cognizant and temperate decisions. Besides, Stoics accepted that boldness additionally showed itself in the capacity to face agony and enduring sincerely in poise as opposed to capitulating to misery or self-indulgence. A person who possesses courage is able to persevere through life's challenges while maintaining their moral and emotional integrity. Courage, like wisdom, necessitates self-control and discipline. This implies the capacity to get a grip on feelings, driving forces and impulses, guaranteeing that our activities are directed by reason and uprightness. Overcoming impulsive feelings on the spur of the moment is essential for courage. In conclusion, Stoicism views courage as a moral virtue that transcends physical bravery. It includes the readiness to act as per moral standards, the capacity to defy unreasonable apprehensions, tranquil acknowledgement of difficulties, the non-stop quest for ethicalness, protection from destructive enticements and motivations, grit, even with agony and enduring as well as self-control, and discretion. Stoic courage encourages an ethical and meaningful life by giving people the ability to act with integrity, determination, and serenity no matter what. Equity in aloofness, one of the central tenets of Stoicism, a way of life that seeks wisdom, virtue, and tranquility as a means of leading a life that is satisfying and meaningful, is justice. Equity assumes a pivotal part in this worth framework, giving rules on how people ought to connect with others in the public eye at large. Stoicism holds that acting morally, fairly, and impartially in all interactions with others is the essence of justice. It is more than just adhering to social or cultural norms. It is a commitment to universal ideals of justice and righteousness. Equity is seen as an outflow of uprightness and insight being vital for accomplishing moral greatness. Justice is based on the stoic belief that all humans share a humanity that transcends their individual differences. Subsequently, equity expects us to approach all individuals with deference, sympathy, and thought, perceiving their inherent fairness as people. This means being kind and respectable in every interaction. The stoic virtues of courage, wisdom, and moderation are closely linked to the practice of justice. 
Boldness empowers us to make simply moves in any event, while confronting outside tensions or individual dangers, while astuteness guides us in going with moral choices. Temperance assists us in avoiding harmful or impulsive actions. Justice is seen as putting these virtues to use in our interactions with other people. In Stoicism, justice applies to all aspects of life and is not limited to legal or judicial matters. This entails promoting the common good and adhering to ethical principles at all times. It includes our involvement in social and political issues as well as our day-to-day -day interactions with friends, colleagues, and family. Stoics additionally accepted that equity included rehearsing liberality and noble cause. They contended that helping other people in the midst of hardship was an outflow of temperance and equity. Be that as it may, liberality was viewed as an activity informed by reason instead of a hasty, profound reaction. This implies acting with consideration and compassion for the benefit of others. Trustworthiness and genuineness assume a significant part in the act of equity and emotionlessness. This includes being consistent with oneself as well as other people, staying away from control, double-dealing, and deceptive nature. In all communications and actions, justice is seen as intrinsically linked to integrity and authenticity. Additionally, the Stoics were aware that we might encounter opposition, criticism, or even retaliation in our pursuit of justice. Be that as it may, they underscored the significance of acting properly no matter what the outcomes, tolerating the only results of our activities with tranquility. This includes understanding that making the right decision frequently includes difficulties and misfortunes. Besides, Stoics saw equity as a worry that stretches out past individual and public limits. They believed in the significance of promoting justice on a broader scale and the obligation to contribute to the well-being of the global community. This depended on moral and level-headed standards and involved activities informed by reason and uprightness. In summary, Stoicism views justice as a virtue that necessitates acting impartially, equitably, and ethically in all interaction. It is viewed as a statement of temperance and shrewdness, key to accomplishing moral greatness and carrying on with a significant life. Equity requires general regard, the use of different ethics in all everyday issues, and the advancement of the benefit of all. It is a prudence in view of moral and judicious standards, reflecting sympathy, pride, and uprightness in all activities and connection. Wisdom, courage, and justice, the three pillars of Stoicism, are a profound guide for living a life of virtue, meaning, and authenticity. They urge us to look for moral greatness, figure out the world with insight, and face affliction with pride. Stoicism provides a way of life that encourages authenticity, self-discipline, and self-reflection, allowing us to act with integrity in all situations. We can cultivate a richer and more meaningful existence by incorporating these pillars into our individual journey, locating a source of inner strength to face challenges, develop wisdom, and become agents of positive change in our communities and the world. The pursuit of virtue and tranquility leads to a deeper comprehension of ourselves and our place in the universe, and Stoicism encourages us to embrace a life with a purpose. Subsequently, may these mainstays of emotionlessness act as guides on our excursion, engaging us to live with more insight, fortitude, and equity, and to accomplish a full and significant life.